it's not nice. Oh, so we have started to sweat, which means summers are here, and I like summers, but I don't like shooting in summers. I like shooting in winters. You know? I compare myself to other people all the time, and I'm not alone. Seventy-six percent of my Instagram audience does it. Yes, I conducted a poll and forgot to take a screenshot, but the twenty-four percent people who said no. You don't have to go to the Himalayas to achieve peace. You already have it. Congratulations. And comparing isn't new. Uh earlier it was the society doing it, majorly my parents and school teachers, you know, pegging me against other children. And I guess we've all been there. But for quite some time I have been doing it to myself and especially when it comes to my work. Guess what? Comparison is not nice. It lets people drive our behavior. We unknowingly try to copy them, lose our originality, creativity. It has happened to me already. I mean, I genuinely feel that at this point I cannot write, which is so funny because earlier I used to freelance as a writer. I got paid for writing, and now I feel I cannot write. And even if I try to, all the people that I compare myself to suddenly come to my mind, and I'm like, who? Oh. I feel terrible. I feel talentless. I feel blank. But 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 recently I have been trying to develop some good habits and here are a few things that have helped me not compare myself to other people. One, if you look at someone's Instagram feed and feel that wow, this person has got it all together, then ask yourself how many times have you uploaded bad pictures of yourself? or how often do you post about your bad days the answer will surprise you also it's a moment captured nobody is always that happy and who knows if they were really that happy when the picture was taken two remind yourself how awful you feel when your parents teachers friends compare you to other people and now you're being the toxic bitch yourself Number 3 instead of comparing your final outcome with their final outcome try to take inspiration from their process the other day i was listening to me before you by jojo munis i am so sorry i'm not sure how you pronounce her surname but the woman has crafted the book beautifully it's amazing and i hate to say this that i did compare myself with her at first because i was like wow she writes so wonderfully i don't think so i can ever do that then i was like no that woman must have worked really hard on each sentence and if i want to reach that level in my life then i have to practice writing daily and pull up my socks by the way i listened to me before you on storytel it is an audiobook and ebook app offers over 100000 ebooks and audiobooks in multiple languages from english hindi to tamil telugu marathi urdu and bengali I'll be very honest here initially the idea of audiobooks did not excite me very much because you know it's easier to turn a page or go back to a line than to rewind an audio you know what I'm trying to say but the app has this really cool feature where you can actually choose the speed at which you want to listen to the book I'll give you an example The whole day was punctuated with laughter with fizzy drinks guzzled under a hot sun the sky blue light glinting off the battlements i don't think there was a single tourist who didn't smile at me that day people find it very hard not to smile at a group of cheerful giggling girls we were paid 30 pounds and the organizers were so pleased with the turnout that they gave us an extra fiver each by getting drunk with some boys who had been working on the far car park by the visitor center How cool is that, right? I absolutely love this feature. I usually listen to the book at a very slow pace because that way I'm able to absorb every word properly and don't have to rewind to sort of, you know, hear what the narrator was saying. Another really good thing about the app is this set sleep timer mode. Uh, you can set a timer from five minutes to sixteen minutes. That is an hour, and this feature is really good for people like me who love reading and find it very difficult to stop, and also for people, you know, who do not like reading but want to read because it's a very good habit, and because it's called the set sleep timer mode, so it speaks for itself, and that's why this feature is really good for people who find it hard to sleep or you know like being read to while they are sleeping. 
Storydale normally offers a 14 day free trial but because you're my subscribers and you all are very special you can use the link in my description to get a 30 day free trial and get access to unlimited collection of audiobooks and ebooks available on Storydale. Another thing Me Before You seems like one of the best romantic books I've ever come across. You know, Will and Lou are giving me major couple goals right now. But please do not reveal the end in the comment section below. I'm pretty sure that there is tragedy involved here because there is always tragedy where there is romance. So please be kind. Anyway, coming back to comparison, point number four. A lot of people who compare themselves to other people will not believe me as I say this, but trust me, there are people who compare their life with your life, their work with your work, their personality with your personality. We all have our strengths and it's unfortunate that sometimes we cannot see them ourselves. Number five, try to be confident and secure as a person. People who are secure are aware of their strengths and their shortcomings and therefore it is very rare for them to compare themselves to other people. And I'm aware that once the comparison starts, it's like you're stuck in a never-ending spiral of negativity. But try to tap out of it, remind yourself of point one, two, three, four, and five. Basically, you watch this video again and again. And if none of this helps, then just tell yourself that it's all photoshopped. Social media is a lie. I am Prerna Kashyap Khatri and I will see you guys next time.